Today we're going to be talking about rectangular arrays, and a rectangular array is just a different way of representing visually a multiplication problem. And rectangular arrays are made up of rows and columns. Rows go side to side or horizontally. Columns are um, up and down or vertical, and how I remember that is the L in columns goes up and down, it's vertical. So that's how I can tell the difference between rows and columns. Now, along with the rectangular arrays to visually represent a multiplication problem, we're going to use number models. And a number model is basically a fancy way of saying a math problem. So let's start off with um, two rows and three columns. So one column, two columns, three columns. Well, two rows times three columns equals six. So our number model for this array is two times three equals six. Keeping with a product of six, now we're going to have three rows times two columns, so three rows, one, two, three, times two columns, one, two, three times two equals six. Now, it's the, the, the rectangular arrays have the same amount of total dots, they're just flipped around, different number of rows and different number of columns. This is an example of the commutative property, commutative property and the commutative property is best remembered by the turnaround rule, and that's how we'll refer to it most of the time this year, is the turnaround rule. Turnaround rule. You can turn them numbers around, doesn't matter what order you multiply them in, you always get the same answer. 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, turn the numbers around, you get the same product or the same answer. When you're um, looking for rectangular arrays, we will also uh, be finding all the different arrays for a certain number, all the factors of a certain number. So this problem here is six rows times one column equals six and the other way of doing that is one row and six columns so the number model for that is one row times six columns equals six so rectangular arrays. Now, one other area of possible confusion would be a problem like this. Two rows and two columns. Two times two equals four. Well, that looks like a square, and it is a square. Squares are rectangles. Squares can also be rectangles. Rectangles cannot be squares. Um, rectangles have um, two pairs of opposite sides that are the same length and four 90 degree angles. Well, squares have two pairs of opposite sides that are the same length with four 90 degree angles. Rectangles can't be squares, but squares can be rectangles. Hopefully this answered any questions you have. 
As always, if you have any questions, um, just let Mr. Brandt know.